If you haven't watched part one of this video, ingeniously titled Intro to Kinetics Part 1, please go back and watch that first. This video will explore some specific examples of Kinetics apps. Let's start with search. In 2009, 1.7 billion internet users conducted over 29 million searches per minute. Almost none of those searches responded to the user's context. This will change dramatically in the coming years as users manage their personal context information with Kinetics apps. Let's look at one example. Say you're a AAA member. This is one element of your context. You're aware that AAA members receive discounts on all kinds of products and services, but how many times have you stopped to dig out your member guide or log into the AAA website and compare it to the search you're performing? Probably never. This is the data silo problem Kinetics solves. AAA members now have a Kinetics app which takes into account that element of their context. So how does that work? This screenshot shows an example of a user searching for shoes. Who knew there was a AAA discount on shoes? As long as this Kinetics app is enabled on the user's browser, she'll never miss a discount again. The app mashes up data previously stuck in a AAA database with the user's purpose-driven search. 81% of users research or buy products online. That means there are 1.4 billion shoppers who could benefit from Kinetics context-aware apps. Bilio offers users a toolbar that helps consumers make payments, record receipts, and take advantage of offers. Many Kinetics apps provide value to the user by mashing up disparate data sources. Today, most users have to visit multiple sites to accomplish a single purpose on the web. Here's a classic example. Clearplay members can download filters for many movies which remove objectionable content. Before Kinetics, a Clearplay customer might find a movie they want to rent on Netflix.com. Then they would have to jump over to clearplay.com to see if a filter is available for that title. As you can see from this screenshot, the Kinetics app automatically queries the Clearplay database while the user is searching netflix.com and alerts her to the availability of a filter. It also provides one-click functionality to add the movie to her Netflix queue, download the Clearplay filter, or visit IMDB for more info on the movie. This app could fire on any movie rental site, on any browser, on any platform. As we move from the attention economy to the intention economy, brand engagement will require much more than a killer homepage, flashy ads, and lots of tweets. While social media marketing can spread a message virally, there is already backlash against the over-commercialization of platforms like Twitter. Many attempts to engage users are focused on the brand instead of the customer. Kinetics apps can thread brand experiences across multiple websites, mobile devices, and even live events. One example of this multi-site experience is a digital scavenger hunt app, currently under development for Skullcandy. Members of the Skullcandy Nation are incentivized with points, discounts, and exclusive prizes to complete a scavenger hunt which engages users with Skullcandy content in the form of clues embedded on other sites. They are also exploring using this app in conjunction with events like the X Games, where users will collect online, offline, and mobile clues to complete the challenge. This is the multi-endpoint experience unique to Kinetics apps. There is a growing consumer movement around supporting local and green businesses. The San Mateo County app not only highlights local businesses, but percolates them to the top of the results page, helping users accomplish their purpose while supporting local enterprise. Social networking is the biggest paradigm shift since the Industrial Revolution. Whether you're an avid or casual social networker, the growth of communities like Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter is undeniable evidence that users derive great value from these networks. But the monetization model is backwards. The big players like Facebook obviously make a great deal of money from ads they place on user pages. But you created the content visitors have come to see. Shouldn't you be the one getting paid? Up until now, only the social networking websites saw any kind of financial benefit from this user-generated content. Social Paywall is an online service that allows you to create content, publish it through your social networks, and make money by selling subscriptions. With Social Paywall, you can save your premium links, coupon codes, video podcasts, and other content behind an electronic toll booth or paywall. Then you share a brief description along with a link to that content on all your favorite social networking platforms. Your friends and followers click the link and are directed to a page allowing them to pay to see your premium content. Once they subscribe to your premium feed, they'll see future content directly on the social networking websites. If your head isn't spinning already, now think of all the ways Kinetics apps could change business tools, education, healthcare, philanthropy, etc., etc., etc. So whether you're a developer, innovator, marketer, manager, or mom, 
Discover more great apps that could change your world at kinetics.com marketplace. If you have a great idea for an app but don't know the first thing about programming, or if you have an aptitude for designing or coding killer apps, sign up for an app builder account at kinetics.com slash app builder. So why should you use Kinetics to build apps? The power of context, the flexibility of a development framework that's platform, browser, and endpoint agnostic, the freedom to create open source apps that evolve the web, or the ability to monetize your apps with any number of business models. Kinetics is evolutionary, it's powerful, it's free. So start building. I'm on a horse.